Hi, welcome. We're going to study today about rubrics. What are rubrics? Rubrics are something that you've already been acquainted with in unit two. If you remember, you had looked at rubrics in order to evaluate uh, elements of um, your peers and yourself also. So rubric is something of this kind that you may be able to give a criteria such as what is a lesson plan, be able to describe it and say what are the qualities you're looking for, and then be able to identify whether someone is in the beginner level or in the advanced level and how you want them to progress. So by looking at the rubric, the person understands that if I want to have all the advanced criteria that I want to be recognized as an advanced uh, learner when it comes to lesson planning, then I need to explain all my points. I need to explain and give details. I need to have reflection questions for the teacher and for the student. I need to give in-depth reporting that comes in. So it basically enables the learner to understand what they must do in order to move from being a beginner to being an advanced learner. They must also, it helps the teacher say, I marked you as beginner because there were these problems or because there was an evaluation. You could make your own rubrics. That is the very simple point. You can have different kinds of rubrics that will enable you to understand what is there or not there. So you had studied some rubrics, which is given as a table here, but you also had in your peer assessment the kinds of rubrics that you could look at. There are also checklists. For instance, a checklist would be, is it there? Yes, correct. Is it not there? No, wrong. So for instance, in a checklist for English letters, it would be, is the address there? Is the date there? Is the subject there? And we give them marks. For instance, there could be, is the topic there? Are grade levels there? Are number of students given? And you could have a checklist of sorts. Checklist just says yes or no. We do not have to grade them and say how relevant they were or not. We just mark the presence or absence when it comes to a checklist. When it comes to a rubric, however, it is a graded activity. It tells the learner not only where they are, but also tells them how to progress to a better level. What is lacking in that particular criteria, criterion that they should move to the next level, that they were not able to go to the next level, right? Now, how can we create rubrics? Very simple. We have to understand what is it that we want to evaluate. In the same letter, I could evaluate language accuracy and grammar. I could evaluate format, or I could decide that I want to evaluate how well they are responding to critical thinking and how well they are responding to the question. I may want to choose to amalgamate all of them, join all of them and evaluate the letter for all these points. Or I could think about and say, maybe I will only evaluate for format today. You know, we will decide what we want to evaluate them for. The rubric helps because we can put the mark sheet and the rubric on the wall and say, this is what you have to map and this is what you will be evaluated on so that the learner also knows what they should do in the idea, in the lesson. Another is also, it is easy to give feedback, right? Now we are showing you and in the activity, of course, in this was unit two activity, but in unit three activity, you would have, of course, the element of uh, looking at uh, assessment activities. And we have given you what assessment can be like in terms of the uh, levels that comes through deal model or the optional models that come through, right? We could look at uh, how we can uh, push these in, in terms of the rubric maker or the Ruby star. So we could look at different sites that you can go to to understand what is a rubric. One of the one things that we are showing you is Ruby star. Ruby star is a site that is free to use for teachers and you can log in and sign up uh, very simple questions and create a rubric. You can also create a rubric without signing up. For instance, I would want to maybe look at work skills, right? It says Ruby star for teachers 
www.ghanaspeaks.org and there are different kinds of elements that are there. Let us take up something very, very simple. There is already a preset template. We can customize it. So let's take up the fact that we all generally ask students to make posters. So maybe we will try and look at the poster and ask the students what is it that we want. We could write the name and a rubric description. Please understand if you have not logged in, then uh, if you have not got an account, then Ruby Star only allows you for 14 minutes. But if you have an account, then the uh, rubric is there saved for you. So that is the difference. Now, uh, you could make a poster, you could give it a title or a name, and then you could directly go into creating or editing your rubric. So they have already given you a few kinds of samples, you know, how is the graphics, for instance, uh, are the graphics very clear? You could give them, uh, are they original? Are they relevant? So for instance, I could think about and say that the graphics need to be relevant. Once you chose this, automatically all these empty boxes that were there immediately filled in. All the graphics are related to the topic and make it easier to understand. All borrowed graphics have a source citation. Maybe that's what I want. I may also choose to edit the number of marks that I want to give them. I may choose to not have marks and mark them as advanced, which is the highest, uh, intermediate, and then beginner. And then I could talk about them as novice, that they don't know anything, right? So they do not re re relate or uh, several borrowed graphics do not have a source citation. We can also edit all of this. If you think that, uh, you know, uh, we don't want to change, we don't want this, we can edit anything that you want in it. In that sense, you could try and look at the uh, uh, elements that are there, right? Now, uh, this is, and again, something that you could try and do and reset. So if you click on reset, similarly, you can keep ahead and choose which ones you want. If you don't want some of this, you can try. And if you don't like this, for instance, in terms of title or any of those sorts of making a poster, because this was about making a poster. If you don't want to choose, you can also decide that you want to edit something and create your own. So maybe I want to create something which says that uh, the poster is made on sustain, uses sustainable materials. recyclable materials. Okay, so uh, only paper and paints are used and no toxic chemicals or plastic were used in the making of the presentation. Um, sketch pens, uh, only paper is used. Sketch pens with some toxicity were used minimally. Uh, right? Uh, here I may say uh, the mm, there is uh, some use of plastic figures and cutouts, right, which is things. And I could then say that this has a lot of plastic that was used during the presentation. There was also 
a lot of paper wastage. Maybe, you know, and we could think about how else we want to do it. So it could be whatever you want to type and edit and so on and so forth. And you can it, delete all of whatever you wanted. So I could submit. And once I have submitted, uh, uh, so we could try and look through in a sense when you are putting it in. Uh, and as it says, international visitors should type in their elements. I can choose whether I want to make it a temporary rubric and guess it is a temporary rubric that I want. And I could then click on submit. Uh, and if I have not filled in all the details, it will not allow me sample poster rubric, right? And I could uh, type in that element. And once I have done all of it, which is required, it will allow me uh, to submit my uh, name and my if whatever else is required, it would ask me to fill in and push it in. Okay, so uh, you could try and fill in all of your uh, names, and you could try and push that in into your code and be able to submit your Ruby star, and there is your. Uh, sample rubric, right? My sample rubric was this kind. So it takes just that much of time to make your rubric. You can take this, you can take a screenshot, print it out, and so on and so forth. It's that simple to create. You can also do this on a piece of paper, of course, and you're welcome to do it, but it really helps the students to know what they're going to get marked on. So I hope to see more of your rubrics. And in unit three, you have been asked to not only look at your lesson plan, uh, not only share your demonstration of the lessons and changes from modification from unit two, uh, and also look at reflections for the students and teachers, but also ask for assessment. So maybe you could use something like Ruby Star and come up with your own creativity to how you would measurably assess students and enable them to understand how to move from a novice to a beginner, to an intermediate, to an advanced learner for every single criterion that you are marking them on. So hopefully this was useful and that you will keep practicing. Please do share with us your opinions and your rubrics and even other sites that you may be able to utilize. All right, so see you soon.